Good afternoon and welcome to Tortilla Talk. I'm your host, Dylan, and with me today is Troy, Dallas, and Nick. Dallas, how are we doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, not not great, Dylan. Um, it's nice to see your uh, your face, though. <laughs> Thank you. It's always good to see yours, Dallas. I enjoy every time we get on one of these podcasts to talk some football. Troy, how are you doing today? Uh, I could be a lot better, to be honest. Last night was rough. Yeah, it was rough. It made a lot of us rethink a few things. Uh, Nick, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I just I certainly made certainly made some people think a lot about a lot of life choices. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I think I'm better than you guys. We'll get into it. Yeah, well. I mean, speaking of getting into it, guys, so Texas Tech starting the year 1-0 and with a win over Abilene Christian, 52-51. to Not the way you'd like to start against an FCS opponent, barely holding on because, let's be honest, a botched uh, two-point conversion. Dallas, I'll start with you. Just give me your initial thoughts. Uh, Yeah, I, like her caption says, uh, a win has never felt worse. I think there's an argument that that was the worst win in program history. I saw some people throwing around it's the worst game in program history. I don't think you can say that if there's a W. Uh but that was that was pretty rough. But I think we'll get into it here in a little bit. But there are uh really I think just a couple of key issues that caused the majority of our problems. I was ready to uh jump off a cliff, uh, was looking like a clown. Um, and, uh, <laughs> but not the uh, only one. You, look, this is, this is the way tech fandom is. You get your preseason hope and hype, uh, as high as it could possibly be for it to be destroyed week one. And then just try to slowly build it back up for the end of the year. Yeah, Dallas, I think you hit the nail on the head there. And uh, Nick brought it up to, you know, making us rethink some life choices. And we do get we do get our uh, hopes up every year. And, you know, last night we got the win. We went home, did some soul searching, looked at the man in the mirror. And this is all I kept seeing every time I was staring in the mirror. <laughs> this is what was staring back at me. So I thought, you know, this is what this team has done to me. <laughs> Every year, I get up and get ready. Tech's going to be number one. We're going to be the best. And I'm, I'm a damn clown. I, <laughs> I've, I've just come to realize it and acknowledge it. You guys are still living in your fantasy worlds. This is what Tech has done to us. They have made us clowns. <laughs> Every year, we let them do this to us. I told you, I did soul searching. Stared at the mirror, and this is the man that was staring back. I hope you guys like it. I'm embracing it. Troy, give me your thoughts. Oh, man, I feel like I need to get my makeup ready. Uh, I'm about to jump on that bandwagon with you. But I thought it was a a cruel joke. Uh, I thought they were just going to snap out of it in the um, second half. It didn't happen, uh, and so that was terrible. Um, it was just a nightmare, uh, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't have my, many words. Yeah, I mean, a nightmare, everything. Yeah, well, Nick, we want the game at least, right? Yeah, I've got a lot of thoughts on it. Um, you know, last night we were obviously in the group text and uh, everyone was having minor meltdowns. Uh, look, when I woke up this morning, I, we, I could have felt a lot worse, right? If we had lost last night, it would have been we, – we all would have felt a lot worse still, and I appreciate the commitment uh, because, we, you know, a little bit of a clown show. Uh what I'm upset about is a couple of things. First, I'm a new father. You know, my baby's uh, 17 days old. And I'm already having to explain to her um, what last night was. So that didn't feel great. Um, another thing I, I feel bad about is, you know, all the guys on offense that we were excited about uh, had great games. Um, you know, Conyers, great. Kelly, great. Douglas, great. Um, they played so well. Micah didn't even have to, you know, play too, too much. Obviously, we want to see him, but it's nice to let the freshman kind of work his way in. Um, I've been preaching to you guys, uh, Coy Aiken, for a few weeks now. And boy, what a game my guy had. Um, so I feel, feel like a big brain about that. But it all got overshadowed because, uh, unfortunately, our defense 
Uh, I don't know if they were even at the game last night. Uh, so it's just a bummer. It's a bummer we're not talking about how awesome the new players at, at Tech looked uh, because they deserve a lot of credit, but the defense kind of took that away. I have faith in Joey. I think we'll get it right, um, but it's going to take a lot of work. So yeah. we're one and oh. We're one and yeah. oh. It's true. It's it's hard to see the positives when you're giving up 500 yards to Maverick McIver. Dallas, what went wrong in that game? Well, um, I, I'm a sicko, as you know. So I went back and uh, rewatched this game a few hours ago and looked at each play twice on defense. One just staring at the defensive line and one staring at the secondary. And... <laughs> 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 Sorry, I took up blowing up balloons on the side as well. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate yeah. really going for this bit. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you had to give that balloon to a kid, huh? Here you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't even. Where was I? Yeah. So rewatching the game. Um, yeah, it was the secondary, man, and I hate to point one guy out specifically, but I think everybody kind of saw what side it was happening on most frequently, and I think the loss of Braylon Lux right before the game uh, might have cost this team, like, three touchdowns at least. At least. At least. At least. Um Jalen Peoples, I know, like, he's a young guy coming up, was supposed to have a really good fall camp and is finally getting some playing time. But uh, he looked lost. And the defensive line, I think, will surprise people as we go go through the year. They're, they're better than they looked because, I mean, Maverick McIver, you don't throw for 500 yards if you're having to go through – progression one two three and four his number one guy was open on almost every every play call and it seemed to be a trend that uh mr peoples was uh the cornerback guarding him yeah it's uh it was tough to watch to say the least troy uh give us a little more insight into what you think uh was the glaring weaknesses in that game yeah, Dallas Dallas touched on the back four, the corners and the safeties. Um, one name in particular, right? Uh, so that was very concerning. And it was just, I don't know, all of it was very disappointing. I think Joey's statement uh, to open the press conference was, um, you know, pretty eye-opening where he was asked, were there any good things that the defense did? And he basically was like, well, they got the last play. They made the last stop at the end of the game. Uh, and then he said they didn't quit. And those are the only two things. Uh, and so there's that. Um, but, I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words with it, with it all. I mean, giving up 51 points uh, didn't look like it was a hard 51 points either. Um, there wasn't much to it. Um, you so know, you weren't at a loss for words last night. Yeah, McIver. Yeah, no. uh, Here's some of the things you said. No, no, those can't be repeated, nor should they. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, our defensive line was even able to show what they're capable of because he was getting the ball out in like two seconds. Uh, and so I will say that the the uh, their running backs, I mean, didn't look great. I mean, I know they still rushed for 100 yards, but it was across multiple people um, and multiple rushing attempts. So I'll, I'll say that. Uh, you know, the, the middle, uh, the linebackers and stuff, we're able to snuff that out uh, as well. So, Yeah. Uh, Nick, you had a, a, at least a more positive outlook on this. Do you think we can uh, get this right before a game next week? Uh, so there's, there's obviously, with the game being next, next Saturday, right, there's, it's not going to be perfect. Like, let's don't be foolish and think that we're going to give up zero points next week, right? It's not going to happen, especially against – uh, a great passing attack like uh, Washington State. I mean, what they get, they scored 70 points last week. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's not going to be perfect, but what I will tell you is I, I do believe it's going to be better. I, I think that 
guys, there's games where this happens, right? And we can all be upset and frustrated as we should be, right? But it happens, okay? Um, I, someone's got to remain optimistic here because at the end of the day, I we won, right? And Coach McGuire said it, you know, we stopped him at the end of the game. And if that's the only good thing that he saw, then at least he's being honest and he's not saying, you know, oh, they had some good stuff here and some good stuff there. It sounds like he's really taking some ownership of it and he's going to get the kids working. Um, they know what they need to do to be successful. I, I think that I think that we can fix this. And again, at the end of the day, guys, it might not feel good, but if if we win every game by one point where we where this happens, then I will take it ten times out of ten. One right. other thing that um, was brought up during the press conference, too, that I think was pretty important was just the lack of experience that Joey touched on. I mean, he said there were six or seven guys that this was their first start on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, and so wanted to just touch on that. Obviously, they're a young team. Um, unfortunately, I don't think the second start means it's going to get be better. Uh, but wanted to throw that in there as well. Yeah, but, I mean, with, with that, I mean, they will be – they have more experience now, right? So they're just going to keep hopefully getting better at the end of the year. We've seen that Joey gets better throughout the season, right? So if we if we manage to win a game that, quite frankly, I don't, you know, I, I think we still should have, but obviously very close. Hopefully Joey just keeps getting better and better, which we've seen him do the last two years, right? So that's a positive to think about. Um, and again, I maybe we talk more about slowing down our offense a little bit. Um, keeping the ball in our hands, right? We have Taj uh, run the ball a little bit more, maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, because obviously we're, we're going to give up points next week. It's not going to be perfect. But uh, I guess my question for you guys is, what what is acceptable? Like, what's going to make us feel better next week? A win. Just yeah, winning? I, I think a win. Just winning? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think okay, so after this, I don't okay. know if we can win. <laughs> See, I guess here's my thing. Like, I believe we're going to – like, I, I think we're going to win next week. So, so I guess I guess for me to feel good about next week, it's it's, by, it's winning by, like, seven. Like, winning by a touchdown. Yeah, I because mean, I, 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 think, I think my thing is, is, like, we're probably – I think in this game we had one punt the whole game, and the only turnovers we had were on downs going for it on fourth down. Yeah. I would be surprised if we go into Pullman and have zero turnovers and only one punt. So if we're going to be able to win, <laughs> we're either going to need to be able to convert in the red zone a little better or yeah. the defense is going to have improved. So one of those things will have improved, which means the team will have improved if we've won the game. Um, I, I do get a little concerned in, like, the run blocking. The run blocking was not great. Like, all of our longer runs was – when like there was no hole and Taj was able to bump it to the outside, uh, against better teams like with some faster linebackers, like that's that's going to be tricky. Uh, he's not going to have uh, like Taj isn't the fastest guy. Like he kind of feasts on being able to wiggle through the middle and break a few tackles. Um, he's not like the home run hitter. So if we go against a better offense or defensive line, and uh, I think that we might need to lean on the passing game. I think that's where the weapons are. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think, I think we have those. I, I'm really, I'm not concerned about the offense and, and again, yeah. you know, make everyone feel a little better. Our D I don't believe our defense is as bad as last or as yesterday. They're, I, I'm not saying they're good, but I don't think they are that bad either. I, I think that there's going to be a, in a positive way, a regression to the mean, right? I, I don't think that we're that. There's no way. There's just no way we're that bad on defense. Um, and then I was joking. We were joking last night, right? We always say, oh, I'm tired of being everyone's Super Bowl. We were truly Abilene Christian Super Bowl, right? I mean, I think, like, with all joking aside, this is the one time you could say, like, everyone on that team wanted to win by, you know, a lot of them went to Tech. A lot of them are coached to Tech, right? Patterson coached to Tech. Some of them are from Lubbock. I mean, good Lord, like half that team has a tie to Texas Tech. So, I mean, they were probably, they've been probably preparing for this, getting ready to go for a while now.
and maybe we overlooked it a little bit. You know, there could have been some of that going on. Trap game to start the season. It, if that's the case, though, like the one of the big that's talking thing, points man. all season was starting the the beginning of the season fast and going one and zero. Like that was their whole thing is that they overlooked Wyoming. They got up big. I mean, it was the exact repeat of the Wyoming game from last year. Where yeah. you get up big early, everyone's feeling great. The other team crawls back in and you go to overtime. The only difference is Wyoming converted their two point conversion and Abilene Christian didn't. Like right. that, that was the only difference in the game. Mission accomplished. Well, An improvement, huh? <laughs> I mean, at yeah. the end of the at the end of the day, <laughs> we won the game, which I'll give that to them because how many times do we see typical tech in this situation lose it? I, I I don't even think I can give him the full credit, though. I think I told you guys this, though. Like, it just felt like it was a botched two-point conversion more than us making, like, a great play on it. The play just looked doomed from the start. Yeah, but, Dylan, what do you – let me – I asked Troy this on the phone earlier. Do you think that they were trying trying to do a, a QB, like a QB draw, or do you think they were doing the fake QB draw, lob it up? I, I don't think know. He had an option. I, I think, yeah, I was, yep. I think he had the option to do it because if you would have saw the, if he could have waited a little longer, he had a slant going right up the middle. He, and he saw the receiver yeah. jumping. So I think he had the option to do either. And I think he got nervous and pulled a little early and started going or a little late yeah. if you were going to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, of course, they're going to give it your all. They want to come in and beat an FBS team, but you could say that about any FCS team going into their, you know, Southern Utah playing Utah, Tarleton playing Baylor. So we need to get take care of business. We won. So that's awesome, right? But now we got to move on to Washington State, which uh, I was told I, I didn't see the opening line that we were we opened as favorites, but I'm seeing now we're already underdogs. I was saying this right after the game yesterday. This is the ultimate, if you're a betting man, bet on tech spot because there's going to be a way over adjustment from how terrible we were this week that you're just going to get natural value on Texas tech Dallas. I know you already started going in on the game a little bit um, with Washington state, but obviously they can move the ball. Um, we can move the ball. How do you see this game playing out? So yeah, it's going to come down to, can we stop the big play? Because yeah, Washington State put up a ton of points last week, uh, or yesterday, rather, and every single one of their scores was, except one, I think, was a touchdown from over 30 yards. They, were, I mean, they were just gashing Portland State. Uh, they had a 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. It was all big plays. If Braylon Lux can come in there and we can get some communication in the secondary and prevent what happened this past weekend – at least keep stuff in front of us, then I think you've got a shot. But the – I don't know. The, the issue is going to be can we stop the run because I think we were just a more physical defensive line than their offensive line in the run blocking. And if Washington State is able to run the ball on us and we have to commit another guy to the box, I'm pretty nervous about how that's going to play out. Yeah, it's you're, you're right. If we're going to have to uh, put more bodies up there, this it could get even worse. Troy, what are your initial thoughts on this game? Yeah, I was looking at um, Washington State stats. I didn't get to watch much of the game, but to Dallas's point, it was just big gashes, big wounds. I mean, the guy's stat line, he threw for five touchdowns and 11 completions. <laughs> so it was, I guess that kind of <laughs> tells you what kind of plays they were making. Um and on the opposite side, I mean, Portland was able – they had one of their guys go for 96 yards, uh, and then the guy behind him went for 54 yards. So if you want to talk about being able to move the football, Nick touched on maybe we slow it down. Um, offense isn't our worry, obviously, but this could be a spot where Taj – we already had a 154-yard game. There's no reason he can't do that again. Uh, and if we're worried about the defense and the experience, um, maybe we change it up and – and um, play a little bit different while these guys continue to get experience on the on the back four. Um, and, and Dallas touched on the communication piece. That was one of the big points from Joey's presser as well. It just seems like there – I don't know if there wasn't a leader in the, the back four. Uh, Nick, when we talked on the phone today, you mentioned that four of the guys we lost were our four defensive leaders. 
Uh, and so when you're trying to uh, fill that void, um, they got to figure that out through games too. Uh, and so maybe we'll have Lux emerge as that uh, consistency and, and the com key communicator on the field, uh, really the general to get those younger guys uh, in the right places. Uh, so need some really big key adjustments. But I think Taj is a, obviously a big key for us uh, in keeping that Washington State uh, offense off the field. Yeah, I mean, that's going to play a big uh, part in it. Nick, you, you said you would be good if we won by uh, a touchdown more. Do you think we can bounce back and uh, get that done? Yeah, I, I do. I, I think that the talent is there for us. Um, I think it's communication. I think that, you know, in, in Dallas, you know, you, you can probably speak more to this just from seeing, but it it just felt like communication wasn't there yesterday. They were – there were blown coverages. I mean, there were just people not where – it seemed like there were just people not where they should have been, right? Um, and so I, I just think with, with some coaching, I, I think we'll be able to get a little bit better on that. Having Lux hopefully back, I haven't heard anything, but hopefully he's back. Um, we'll get some, some you know, older talent in there to be able to, to get the guys calm. But I, I stand by what I said when the season started. I think we're going to win. I think we're going to be fine. And I don't think our defense is as bad as it was yesterday. I I think that it was some poor communication. I think they played really poorly. And sometimes it's a snowball effect, right? Things just bad things happen, then bad things keep happening. Um, so I just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get too depressed too early. I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy. We're one and up, and I think we can be two and up. Uh, the game's not going to be easy. You know, it's it's going to be back and forth, but should be all right. I think, and I think to everyone else, what everyone else has been saying, we got the offensive firepower to stay in the game. Uh, you know, circling back to let's talk about some good things. You know, last year, for whatever reason, injuries, uh, lack of depth at receiver, whatever, um, you didn't feel like you were going to score every – you didn't feel like you had that electricity, right? You didn't feel like you are going to score every every time you had the ball. I know it was against Abilene Christian, but like I never was concerned that we weren't going to be able to move the ball yesterday. Um, and I just think it's because of some of the players that we've got. So I, I think that'll continue. And that's a good feeling that we haven't had in a couple of years. Yeah. Sorry. I, uh, I'm being a clown in all walks of life. Now we're doing our fancy football draft off to the side. And uh, I tried to pick a backup tight end and I just drafted the third quarterback. So I, you know, this tech team is just rubbing <laughs> off on me and making me just clown it up every, in every action of my life. So whatever, any other thoughts, guys, I'll let anyone jump in on this because we'll, we'll move on to the big 12 at the rest of the big 12 after this, but any last thoughts on either this game or Washington state? Nick mentioned that the, like, yeah, it's, it kind of stinks because we touched on the offense a little bit, but I'm really excited for that. <laughs> like there, they were awesome, good... dude. All the guys we brought were awesome. Yeah. And, um, you know, they, they, they did really well. I know obviously going, they're going to be playing an FBS team this, this go round in the pack too. Um, and so we'll really get to see if, if, uh, they are the real deal, but man, um, those receivers, that receiving group and Conyers, uh, and we only, Tharp only touched the ball once, but when he did, uh, he looked really good as well. And so there's just 26 options that are, are uh, really good. And so that's super exciting. Um, Dallas mentioned the offensive line, um, as well already, already. So that'll be a really good test to see, uh, if, if what they will look like through the course of the season as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it is good to try to take the positives away. But again, at the end of the day, they made they made us look like clowns. It's hard to show my face to people at work and talk about the game and how we yeah, barely beat Abilene Christian. I told people that we were a dark horse to win the Big Twelve, and uh, now I got to go in after. Well, we all literally picked them the winning the Big Twelve, making the See, playoffs. This is, this is where you guys are wrong. This is where you need to double down. <laughs> oh no! I have a twelve and zero still winning the title. Okay. Okay. It's just, I just I'm going to get there by Saturday. I just need to show. I need them to understand. This is what they do to us. This hurts. Yeah. Hey, hey! Nothing in life's easy. 
Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> if it was if it was easy, we'd all be Georgia fans. Be nice. <laughs> or Tennessee fans, Dallas. Hey, Tennessee ain't that easy either. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, moving on to the rest of the Big 12. So, big game, guys. Penn State, West Virginia, and West Virginia got dominated. We've all, I think we all were pretty much on the same side they as far suck. as them being <laughs> overrated. Dallas, nothing much to worry about in that team, right? Dude, can you imagine losing week one? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> To Penn what, State. What, what clowns. What clowns, yeah. <laughs> could, hey, could uh, you guys imagine being 0-1 right now? Yeah. Must be embarrassing. Jeez. No, well, West Virginia is – I mean, this feels silly now to even, like, talk about other teams somewhat after what Tech just did, but West Virginia is not good. We all said it in our preseason preview that this team just had a really easy schedule last year, got lucky a few games – and, uh, you know, the Neil Brown still isn't, you know, a, a quality head coach. Um, so, no no shocker there. I don't even think Penn State's going to be that good, but they've got such a cakewalk to 10 wins that they're going to get into the playoff. Yeah. yeah I mean, I think... was... Go Sorry. on. I, I was just going to say Green was everything we said he was in the, the preseason layout. I mean, what, didn't complete – barely completed 50% of his passes and – didn't didn't rush for like we usually does, but that's really hard to do against Penn State in general. So can't hold them to that. But yeah, I mean, I think Dallas just hit the nail on the head when he said it's silly. I mean, this is all silly, isn't it? I mean, look at us. What about hey, you, Nick? Best. How do you feel about that? I mean, I know you were one of the big ones on that uh, West Virginia overrated train as well. I'm having a good week <laughs> as far as my picks. What I said about certain teams. Uh, you can say what you want about Texas Tech, but I told you that they – I said a couple of things. I said that they would be undefeated, and they are, 1-0. And I also said that Texas Tech would almost single-handedly hit their own over, and they did. So I'm, I'm hitting on all cylinders, and I was right about West Virginia, a bunch of clowns. Dylan, when I saw you <laughs> dressed, I thought you were doing a bit about West Virginia. Yeah, no, I it I'm surprised they're not all looking like me right now. Again, Nick, this is just the man I saw in the mirror. <laughs> I actually also thought we picked up a new sponsor, uh Joker for Le Du. <laughs> Start singing if you need me to. <laughs> I'll dance for you if you want. All right. Yeah, well, well, it's a tough matchup, obviously, and who knows, maybe Penn State's that good, but I feel like we we can all pat ourselves on the back a little bit. We were right on that one. Um, I'll surround the big 12. Uh, we're not going to get really into this game more. So it's just Utah 49 over, uh, nothing over Southern Utah. The only call out I just really want to bring up is, uh, our boy, uh, bad moon rising looked really good. Yeah. <laughs> he, he might, uh, yeah, he might be fine for the year. I mean, did, he, did you see some of the completions? Like I could have made some of those throws. Well, I mean, that's what happens, though, when you play some of these teams I know, <laughs> at the beginning I of the year. That, 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 he's, that he's him or anything. Well, he only had, like, 12 completions or something, right? That's all Ten. he really needed. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it, it's – I, I, I want to see them play a real team before I, I say that he's good or he, a top-half quarterback in the Big 12. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'd like to see him play a, a real team, you know, like we did. And fight till the end and make sure that, you know, you can get it done. Hey, Barry um, had a lot more passing yards than he did. <laughs> yeah. Imagine <laughs> if he played our defense that night, see what he could have done. Yikes. <laughs> um, all right. Well, on to one I want to bring up for Troy. Troy, Kansas won 48-3 to over uh, Lindenwood. I bring that up because Troy was talking about, and he misspoke. Let me preface this because he'll get mad. But he was talking about how bad Devin Neal did. Devin Neal did terrible. I'm like, I pull up the stats. I'm like, dude, he had eight carries for 112 yards and two touchdowns. <laughs> he just got the names wrong, and he was talking about Daniels. So I'll let Troy go in and go on his spiel about how bad Daniels is. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kansas, obviously, they still got the job done despite uh, Daniels not playing well. 
against a team uh, that was um, inferior. Uh, so that good for them. Uh, hard for us to talk about that, given uh, what happened to us. But he went nine for 15 uh, with 148 yards. And I think he threw a pick as well. Um, I don't think that's the stat line you want to see from that team. Obviously, they did everything else really good. And that's why they were able to handle that team. Um, didn't get to play much last year. So um, maybe the goal wasn't to, you know, obviously they didn't need to have him in this game. So curious to see what that happens with Daniels over the next couple of games. Yeah. And then Nick, Colorado got the job done in primetime national television game in front of everybody. But it was against North Dakota State. You see, you have a lot of people who are playing that side of it saying, hey, FCS opponent. Then you have a lot of people saying, man, Sanders is him. What do you think, Nick? What do you think of this Colorado team? Um, I think this Colorado team is, is not – it's not changed. They're exactly who we thought they were. I, I, I think they have two phenomenal offensive players. You know, I think uh, Hunter and Sanders are, are two, two of some of the best players in college football. Um, but that's it. I, I, they're Horn not going to win many games, huh? Jimmy Horn had seven receptions for 200 yards. Yeah, he had a good game too. I, I watched the game. He was he was electric. Is he is he someone's son? Uh, is the guy that played for the Saints maybe? Is he? That's what I, I thought. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I would guess he. Uh, probably yeah, was. he was. Yeah, what DJ Horn? Is no. that what his name is? Continue. Uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, he was electric. Um, so. I don't. I don't foresee them. I still don't see them winning many games. I. I mean, again, we've been saying this. It feels weird talking about any other team right now, but um, I'm not too worried about them. They beat North Dakota State, who's a good team, but uh, up in, I thought North Dakota State was going to win that game. So. Yeah, it's it sure did look like it. I'll, I'll tell you though, uh, Hunter's got some moves, guys, and I'm talking about after he oh, gets in the end zone. Moves. Oh my gosh. Dude. Guy was made for TikTok, dude. <laughs> uh, here's what I'm gonna tell you: people got pregnant watching that. Yeah, yeah. His, that touchdown catch he had one ridiculous catch, two getting up and hitting the dance, man. No, those. It, <laughs> I was surprised. You know how people felt back when Elvis first came came out and was popular, <laughs> and was like, you shouldn't be showing those dance moves. Well, guess this what. Guy, the people who said you shouldn't be showing those dance moves, you know what they looked like? Clowns. This guy right here. Yep. Yeah. He was electric. That guy's electric. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Dallas. I just don't, I just don't know if the up? people are ready. Oh, I mean, well, they are because Colorado's probably going to win like four games. And I don't know how his knees didn't snap every time, like when he was doing, like, dude. My body doesn't move like that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of ours does. <laughs> I'm sure as hell not going to say mine does, but <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, Dallas, TCU, Stanford, uh, ACC giving the uh, Big 12 some trouble. I know we pulled away, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, TCU was real sloppy. I think what they outgained them by like 200 yards nearly. Um I'm still not sold on uh, what's face. Who's their quarterback? TCU. I can't. Hoover. Uh, Hoover. Yeah, I kept thinking Hooker, but that was just my Tennessee brain. Oh, hey, calm down. Hey, I'm thinking of Hinden Hooker. All right, not a Hooker. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking about. <laughs> um, I don't think any of us thought you were talking about a regular Hooker, Dallas. I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I see that face Dylan's making. That, that, clown. that clown face. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh God. <laughs> no, I think I think TCU will be. Uh, they'll be all right. I don't know what Stanford is. They had like thirty-five uh, transfers come in. I think TCU will be a similar team to last year. They might want to few extra close games and win seven or eight games, like we said before. All right. Well, it's – uh yeah, I don't know what to do with them yet. I don't think they're going to be anything special. But, again, at least you got a Big 12 win over an ACC team. Uh Troy, huge game in the uh, Arizona-New Mexico game. 
anytime you see a receiver go for over 300 yards, I mean, man, I, I went to bed. I'll be honest. It was 24, 24. I woke up and saw 61, 39. I was confused. That was insane. Yeah. So many points in that team. I mean, I don't know who's stopping those two guys. Uh, Fafita threw for 422 yards and McMillan's going for 300. I mean, he's uh, already a few steps ahead of anybody for the Heisman now. My goodness. How many touchdowns did he have too? Did he have two? Four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. Yeah, he had four touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. 300 Double yards and four touchdowns. <laughs> Holy smokes. So uh, they're going to be tough to hang with. Uh, I don't know if you double them or what you do. Um, their running game was pretty decent too. They just, they were, their offense is good. So not much to say there, but watch out to all the big 12 teams. Yeah. And Oklahoma state was finally able to start a season off strong, uh, winning 44 to 20, I believe Alan Bowman got off to a hot start. So, Hey, watch out there guys. Year seven, he gets it right. <laughs> Maybe the, they can go to a big 12 championship. But uh, the one I wanted to bring up last, guys, Houston is awful. I watched, I had that game on in the background, was watching that. They lost 27 to 7 at home. Dallas, does Donovan have that dog in him? No, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what happened to that dog. I knew he used to have the dog, but uh, only putting up seven points against UNLV is pretty atrocious. Um, I tweeted out that. Tech is the worst team in the FBS until they prove me wrong. I want to retract that. We're the tech <laughs> team in FBS until they prove me wrong. Houston is horrible. <laughs> so. Yeah, they're, they're terrible. Uh, he only had 135 yards and threw for two picks. Troy. <laughs> two picks. Bu- <laughs> bunch, of, bunch of clowns, right? Yeah. Yeah. You tell me, D- Dylan, that you would know you know better than any of us. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah hey. Dylan, where are they on your clown meter? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty high up there. Willie Fritz is showing up to work looking like this. I can tell you that. Your book. What's up? I said coaches should take a note from your book and just he should show up to work like that. Oh, think about hey, it. There's nothing. This is how you make me feel. Yeah. Yeah, you just will go up in front of the whole team and go, do you like this? Is this what you want? Because <laughs> this is how I feel, and this is what everyone sees when they look at me. <laughs> my exactly wife, my wife won't even speak to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, guys. Well, overall, we won, and I guess we can leave it at that. <laughs> we won a football game this week. We're on to Washington State. Hopefully we can get it right. Hopefully we get healthy. Hopefully we learn how to play defense. I swear to God, if I see another shark wheel, I'm done. I don't want to see a wheel route be run. I think they've been watching Big Pat, Big Cat play uh, college football 25. <laughs> <laughs> All I've learned from watching that is I, I don't care when people get mad at me for running the same play in my college football games because they did it to us, and look, it works. <laughs> you say it's, it's not really realistic. Like real life. You say it's not realistic. I watched it happen. (laughs) It's realistic. (laughs) All right, guys. Well, again, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, As always, please follow us across all socials at Tech Letter and Tortillas on YouTube, X, everywhere. Thanks for watching. And as always, guns up. Wreck them. Wreck them.